Hey guys, today I'm going to explain why it's important and surprisingly Rudy is Rudy. He is not taking the path that Tolarian Community College has taken. And that is strange to me. So Rudy's most recent video on how modern masters, you can pick two random boxes and they have exactly the same cards in them, meaning that it is mappable. The packs are mappable, the boxes are mappable, and even the cases are mappable. Now, the probability of this happening is so low that even though, even if we knew the boxes were mapped, there's something else going on. And it is kind of crazy to consider what it could be. But today I wanted to focus on the topic of making magic better. And to do that, Rudy has always been Rudy. That cannot be said about other content creators. They have changed. They have accepted sponsorship money. They have accepted Puka trade money. They have accepted monthly magic box money. Um, Sorry, not money, because they will criticize me for saying money, but free product. And free product is free product. And they've changed. They, if you look at Reddit, Reddit is a very good indicator. The moderators are left-leaning, and they delete any good things about M MTG headquarters, and they promote bad things about him, me, and others like Rudy. And when this huge issue, so pretend it's not Rudy, pretend it's just some random store. Would Reddit delete it? Are they personally biased against Rudy? I would say yes. They are, the moderators. I'm not saying Reddit in general, I'm saying the moderators. So you have important information coming out. And it is disseminated by someone who maybe they don't like. Maybe the moderators don't like him. So they silence it. This case is a little different because the voices grew so loud that people, that they had to re-up the discussion. Now, in MTG headquarters case, they just silenced him. No positive news about him. Nothing. The moderators, it has... They have been on record for saying they're not receiving payment. Maybe not monetary payment. I've always wondered, given the situation with the judges, who would possibly ever want to be a judge? You learn a rule book that is totally useless for regular life and getting a job. You learn all these abstract rules and regulations. And when you're making a banning or you're, making, you're giving a game loss, somebody's angry at you. If there's two people and they're calling a judge over, one of them will probably lose and maybe receive a game loss or infraction or something like that. So who would ever want to become a judge when it is ruled by law, California law, that they're not employees and they don't have any type of relationship and they're owed nothing. They're not owed liability protection. They're not owed any cash rewards, although they do get judge promo packs, which you could argue is similar to a cash reward. And the judge promo packs have got worse and worse. I mean, they used to have Gaius Credo and all these really expensive cards. Now they just have jank, like, that they're going to reprint anyway. Like Azola, Lost But Not Seeking. Beautiful artwork. Did they really need to use the judge promo artwork on literally all of these reprints? I don't know. I think it would be best to, like, if the judges actually kept their cards, then it might mean something for them to have something that is unique to them and it was part of them judging so they can kind of remember it, but now everyone has access to the same artwork. And I would say even better because the foil, the set foil. You have a lot of social media policing. And I can make a very clear example of this from Magic for Bad. Magic for Bad is a private Facebook group where the moderators and some of the users in the group got banned. 
a private Facebook group that Emma joined. And the reason I'm calling Emma because it's just mind-boggling to me that someone join a group for Magic for Bad, then screenshot everything in the group, and then try to get people banned. Wouldn't you first want to discuss it with maybe Travis? Hey, Travis, do you know this is up there? Can you delete it, please? There was no discussion. There was no peace talks. There was no, hey, this is bad. It was just all out, let's get these people banned. So that's, that is their view. That is their view. They don't want to meet in the middle. They don't want to be friendly. They want to attack, attack, and attack. And I've had enough. Because just like Jacob, sometimes when you go out fishing, you catch the wrong type of predator. And that's not good, Jacob. That's not good. My point being is you have lots of policing. You have moderators policing it um, against Rudy and promoting to I will see all these Tolarian posts on Reddit. And it's just like, my gosh, do we really need to know about another box? Like, how many, first of all, how many of these boxes actually exist? And why is there such a big marketplace for them? Like, yeah, I get it. You want to protect your cards and you want to look cool. But like some of this stuff, like, especially Ultra Pro and these things that I know they're sponsored by. I look at it and I say to myself, how is this one the top of Reddit? A Robo Rosewater? Literally any Rosewater post is on the top of Reddit within like 15 minutes. And it doesn't make sense. It could be a fake Robo Rosewater and he'll be on <laughs> with a fake card and people would love it. Or it could be an altar of like a swamp that's like not even that great in my opinion. And then something like this, which is important for people buying this product on, by the time this video is made soon, and they're trying to make decisions of, you know, oh, should I buy the product, should I not? And it actually impacts their wallet because, you know, you could get a great box or a bad box, depending on your store. You have, um, I can't say I'm surprised but I am, I am disappointed by some content creators for going along with this and for never talking about the children predators. Not the predators, no, the predators of children. Let me put it that way. No, not a single video was made. They cannot take a stance against MTG Finance because their sponsors are the very definition of MTG Finance at a large scale. And before you say, oh, the Challenger decks, they're just going to buy up. No, they're in Walmart, you. I mean, come on, guys. Like, you. Ah, it's in Walmart and Target. The Challenger decks are in Walmart and Target. The Master 25, I'm pretty sure, is in Walmart and Target. No, they're not going to be able to have a monopoly on it. <laughs> and maybe even Barnes & Nobles. I heard Barnes & Nobles is having a sale right now. It's a half-off sale. And then GameStop, like, you know, like any place that they can put this product, they're going to put it. So when you talk about, um, when you talk about all this drama and a lot of you don't like it, you are more than, I'm more than open to let you guys leave this channel forever and watch people who talk about how awesome it is for damaged cards and warped cards and poor product cards and rookie decks that cost $6.99 without a deck list. If you enjoy that stuff, you don't need to watch this channel. You know what this channel is. It is like Emma joining a private Facebook group and then becoming offended when she knew by joining the group she would be offended. It's You know what my stance is. They came after me they didn't get me for some reason. I'm not sure why I have not been banned yet because I've misbehaved as much as I could. I mean, if you watched the most, since the quote, I'm going to ban you MTG line announcement, I've been pretty bad and overly aggressive because I want to actually, I, I can't say it because then, you know, there's some implication to it, but it would be interesting to me personally and from a educational background, I was the president of the American Constitution Society at a good law school. 
So I, I want to test it. And I would test it. But I need standing. So I need them to do something to me first. And they haven't done it. Which is shocking, no? Because they banned MTG headquarters for life. They banned Travis. I think Travis like was banned for no reason. It was it, yes, he was a moderator of the group, but that was it. Like he was, he didn't see the, what was going on. He didn't. There was no comment. He didn't like it. He didn't love it. He didn't comment on it. I mean, they went after Travis, right? That's who Emma went after, but he didn't post it. He didn't like it. He didn't comment on it. My point is, you have people, and they're going to try to flag your videos. They're going to try to make you out to be a bad person using tactics that they said you're using. They're going to use targeted harassment and then claim that they are victims of targeted harassment. They're going to join groups just to be offended. And then when they are offended, they're going to, instead of approaching you and having a discussion, they're going to try to get you banned for life. They're going to attack, 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 and attack, and enough is enough, guys. At some point in time, you cannot let the Jacobs and you cannot let the Emmers control this game. If you want to know why this game is failing and why this game has so many leaks, Com um, Ixlon, Commander 2017, Dominaria, Leak, leak, leak. We're not talking about one or two cards leaking. We're talking the entire set leaking. You got to start with there. What is their priorities? Is their priorities, let's spend all of our resources monitoring everyone's social media and promoting, you know, Tolarian, promoting Mana Source, promoting these other uh, content creators who turn a blind eye to what's going on with the predators of children. Eventually, the outcome is already foretold. The outcome is very simple. There's people who buy cards. I still buy cards. I still enjoy the game. And there's people who don't have money and they just, I don't know what they're doing, but I know they don't own the decks that they talk about. It's very clear to me they don't own the decks and they don't even have FNMs. They never go to the local game store. They don't even play Magic. They're, the Mana Source has been on record for saying he doesn't have a local game store. How is he playing Magic? You might say, oh, he plays with friends. I don't believe that. I play Magic. And I wish I had my local game store back, but like you know, they found it more profitable not to have Magic. And I just come from a different... I come from old school magic, and like that's why Rudy is Rudy and MTG headquarters, MTG headquarters. If you come from old school magic, the stuff that's happening right now just makes me angry. Like I, I don't know what's going on. Like, yeah, you know, if you played during the when magic was for geeks and magic was your gym teacher, like trying to make fun of you. Um, and magic was for uh, losers and for outcasts and stuff like that. Yeah, those people are actually your friends. The people I grew up with, I still talk to them and they're still my friends and we still play magic together. And once um, my NYU friends, once a year, we meet up at a vacation spot and we'll draft. Uh, last time I was on a cruise. It was uh, a cruise to Hawaii and two, three years, four years ago, some time ago, all we did was we had boxes and we drafted this is just amazing time. Nowadays, it's like, mm, your sleeves, they offend me. Your t-shirt, that offends me. Mm, your play mat, that offends me. I'm just so offended all the time. Like, what? What? <laughs> like, you know? And then you have, like, I don't want to say, like, E-list celebrities, but, like, you have people who... They just get like Frank in his predatory ways of magic women and magic. It's astounding to me that like when if you give these people power, this is how they behave. You give the moderators power on Reddit, this is how they behave. I am glad that there are some YouTubers and some content creators who haven't 
fed, who haven't, they're not being fed by Wizards of the Coast. And therefore, it's okay for them to bite that hand. As soon as Wizards of the Coast gives you a card to spoil, as soon as the Wizards of the Coast starts promoting you, as soon as Wizards of the Coast gives you a plane ticket for the community cop or likewise, you will never bite the hand that feeds you. Especially if you have no other job. Anyway, that's it. Bye.